bloodthirsty, hot-headed revolutionaries called the Zealots. We believed in armed rebellion against Rome, crushing our enemies under our heels and restoring Israel to its former glory in the days of David and Solomon. Jesus told us of a different kingdom, the kingdom of the human heart, where God reigns there supremely. Since then, I have changed my mind and also my allegiance. Jesus taught us that the conquest of the heart is the only true and lasting conquest. And I've given him my deepest devotion and my utmost allegiance. I have in military parlance completely and unconditionally surrendered to him. To think his thoughts, to love as he loves, serve as he serves, and obey as he obeys. The surrender has not imprisoned me. Rather, it has set me free for the first time. I am not afraid of Rome any longer. She is mighty, but God is almighty. And now the Master says, there is a spiritual Roman among us, one who would take by force what should only be conquered by love. Is it Matthew, the public? The big fisherman? Or his brother. Maybe he thinks it's me, because I'm the only zealot among us. Is it I? 